Have a look at this YC backed startup Tenor. They're building AI to automate healthcare billing and workflows. So far, they've raised over $160 million and have a valuation north of $600 million. And here's the catch. Estimated annual revenue of just $30 to $40 million. That's a valuation nearly 20 times what the company actually earns in a year. But here's more crucial part. They are not alone, not even close. Think of the entire healthcare automation market as a pizza. Tenor is fighting for just one slice, automating the billing. But so is another startup, Ambience Healthcare. They've raised nearly a quarter of a billion dollars, have similar revenue and are losing tens of millions a year. All while chasing the exact same slice of the market with at least 20 plus funded competitors. So how is this even possible? How can dozens of companies with 20 times valuations all exist just by selling the same pizza slice? It's because the AI industry is really split into two types of companies with two very different business models. First, you have the primary companies, OpenAI, Google, Anthropic. Their business model is a high stakes, high cost race to build the most efficient model, take it as engine. Then you have the secondary companies, the thousands of startups, car manufacturers like Tenor. Their business model is to buy that engine via an API and build a car around it, paying for their own factory, their engineers, sales teams and marketing. And this is where the math becomes completely unsustainable. Let's imagine the engine costs them $20 per customer and their own operations cost another $10. Their total cost is $30, but to compete in a saturated market, they have to sell their product for $15. They are losing $15 on every single sale. This isn't just least hypothetical scenario. Venture capitalists are now openly warning about this. While a good traditional software company has gross margins of 80 to 90%, many of these new AI wrapper startups are seeing margins as low as 10 to 20%. One analysis showed that over five years, a low-margin AI company will burn $160 million more than a traditional one just to make the same revenue. So this raises the most important question. Where is all this cash coming from? And just how much is being burned? This brings us to the insane world of investment and revenue. In 2024 alone, investors poured over $100 billion into AI startup. Globally, one out of every three venture capital dollars went to an AI company. Let's look at the primary companies. OpenAI has raised a staggering $58 billion in funding. They are on track to make $13 billion in revenue this year. But they are also projected to burn $8 billion in cash while doing it. Anthropic has raised over $14 billion from giants like Google and Amazon. But in 2024, they spent $1.35 billion on compute from Amazon. They are literally spending more on their engine than they make from selling the car. They survive through two ways having an infinitely deep pocket like Google's $72 billion quarterly ad business or through circular deals. In September 2025, Nvidia announced it would invest up to $100 billion into OpenAI for OpenAI to deploy Nvidia's systems. Just two weeks later, OpenAI announced a massive deal to buy chips from Nvidia's main rival AMD and in return, AMD gave OpenAI warrants for 10% of their company. Do you see the cycle? Nvidia gives cash to OpenAI. OpenAI uses that cash to buy chips from AMD. OpenAI also gets shares in AMD, which it can then use to buy more chips. These companies call them strategic partnerships, but financial analysts call this what it is. It's the exact same playbook that led to the dot-com crash. So we have a financial house of cards built on one assumption, that the product actually works. And the answer is, sort of. The real progress isn't in replacing humans, but in making individuals more productive. We have seen genuine new products like Perplexity AI and Answer Engine valued at $18 billion. But that 120 times revenue multiple is still a classic bubble metric. The bad part is the failed hype of AI will replace humans. The fintech company Klarna famously laid off 700 customer service staff for AI but is now rehiring humans after admitting service quality collapsed. This is because the technology has three fundamental problems. First, hallucinations are unsolved. OpenAI admitted they are a fundamental mathematical part of how these models work and you can't run a business on a system that's confidently wrong 3 to 5% of the time. Second, diminishing returns. We are spending 100 times the money for 5% improvements and the disappointment around GPT-5 shows that just making models bigger isn't working. Third, the physical limit. 
the compute and energy costs are staggering. One gigawatt is the full output of a nuclear plant, enough to power 750,000 homes. The NVIDIA and AMD deals alone total 16 gigawatts, enough to power over 13 million US homes. And this isn't clean energy. When this bubble bursts, the companies built on hype, unsustainable economics and circular money will be wiped out.